Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good day, good week, halfway through it, and I appreciate you being here. Uh, get your Bible, if you will, and turn with me to the 108th Psalm. We introduced it yesterday, and uh, while you're doing that, if you will, like and share the post, and um, then we will look at uh, this Psalm again that is a uh, repetition uh, of parts uh, of Psalm 57 and 60. And um, as we said, um, it is, uh, again, what we would call a day in music, a melody, uh, as it uh, contains a little bit. Again, the first section is from Psalm 57, the first uh, five verses. Uh, and then the last, uh, verse 6 through 13, uh, would be uh, out of uh, Psalm 60. And um, I am of the conviction, um, and there are some different opinions, that, uh, that this psalm was, as we've looked in the last few, connected with the return uh, from Babylon. And uh, as they... Uh, returned uh, as they got back to their homeland. Um, they wanted to sing a song uh, of uh, rejoicing. Uh, they wanted to praise the Lord, and they did so by calling on uh, these um, these songs of of memory, uh, these uh, songs from uh, their past. Uh, there had been. Uh, no singing um, in the last 70 years as they were um, captive, as they were uh, in servitude in Babylon. Uh, but here uh, they say uh, that they are going to begin singing. Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even uh, with my glory. And again, that is uh, Psalm 57 uh, verse 7 through 11 are here in uh, these first five verses. Uh, I'll give praise even with uh, my glory. And so uh, they are, uh, again, um, rejoicing. Um, they are saying at least uh, that they're going to fix their heart, fix their mind uh, on, uh, on the Lord. And I believe uh, that um, that is uh, an example, a testimony to you and I today, uh, that a child of God, um, a child of God should uh, be a rejoicing, praising, um, I'm going to say singing people, um, even though I know I can't sing, but um, I can have a good time in the car by myself, um, and uh, that we should be uh, a, a, a rejoicing people. We should uh, be like the psalmist here. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Um, and what I what, what I see in that first verse uh, is this, uh, is that there is no uh, stipulation to it. Uh, I, my heart is fixed on God, and I'm going to sing and give praise even with my glory. Uh, it doesn't say I will sing and, and give praise um, when things are going my way, uh, when things are going the way that uh, that I want them to. Uh, they're going. I'm going to sing and give praise uh, because I am looking um, at the Father. My heart is fixed. Uh, on him. Uh, and when that is the case, uh, we sing, we can rejoice uh, regardless of the circumstances and the situation uh, that we find ourselves in. And so uh, the psalmist here, uh, the original psalmist back, uh, again, this psalm was, um, I believe, uh, one that David writ, uh, wrote during um, his time of fleeing uh, from Saul, uh, and he says, even in this situation, uh, I'm going to sing and give glory. Uh, and the Jews here uh, have come back, as we've talked about, to a city that is in rubbles, uh, a temple that has been destroyed, uh, to a city with no government, no leadership, uh, no walls, no protection, no military, um, nothing. Uh, just desolation, but yet 
they, they say, they commit here uh, to fix their heart uh, on God uh, and to sing praise. Uh, and that should be the commitment that you and I make today. Uh, we should make a, a similar commitment. Lord, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to set my heart on you uh, and praise you uh, in, in any circumstance. Awake, sultry, and heart. I myself will awake early. Uh, and so um, he, he's, uh, uh, again, um, these were instruments of the day, the harp, uh, the psaltery. The psaltery would be similar to, uh, to our, uh, to our uh, guitar. Um, this, um, this, uh, the psaltery and the harp. Uh, would have been uh, kind of what they would have the the piano and the uh, and a guitar uh, would have been their um, you know uh, their their instruments of the time and they're saying we're going to get out our instruments again we're going to uh, to praise the Lord we're going to praise him uh, with all we have we're going to uh, we're going to put our full effort uh, into uh, worshiping uh, our Lord because of uh, his uh, deliverance for us and what he has uh, provided. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. And so, uh, again, um, I, uh, he, he's saying here uh, that, um, you know, it's, it's I'm not just going to sit around in the house and do this. The, the people around me uh, are going to know uh, that um, that I'm praising him, uh, that I'm rejoicing. I'm going to go out um, and I'm going to pass that on. Uh, and certainly a, a child of God uh, should have that kind of... Um, uh, we should be infectious, uh, you know, uh, I almost hate to use that word after the last year and a half of Corona, but um, our, our joy, our rejoicing should rub off uh, on those around us. Uh, one of my favorite sayings is everybody brightens a room, uh, some when they enter it and some when they leave it. Um, and so you and I need to be people who brighten the room when we enter it with uh, our joy, with our, our praise uh, for him, that we are uh, giving him the glory. Why? Because his mercy is great above the heavens and the earth, uh, and, and the, thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth. Uh, and so, uh, again, he just continues uh, with this mindset uh, of praising God. Uh, for his majesty, uh, for his government, for his authority, uh, in verse 4, uh, for just his glory uh, in general, uh, in uh, verse 5. Um, he, he's just saying that, you know, everything about God uh, is, um, is amazing. Uh, everything about God is overwhelming, and I will rejoice um, because of that. Uh, and uh, again, I think this is uh, extremely important to us, again, that this psalm is repeated. Uh, again, that it was um, written in David's circumstance uh, as he fled from Saul. It was written in the, these Israelite circumstances, they return from their captivity uh, to their homeland being uh, devastated. And in both cases, uh, they said, we're going to sing. Uh, they used these words to say, we're going to rejoice. Uh, we're going to praise the Lord, uh, give him glory, um, despite uh, everything that is going on around us, despite this situation, we will praise him. Uh, and if you look at those words again, you see, uh, he says, I will sing uh, and give uh, give praise. Uh, I will praise thee. I will sing praises unto thee. Um, and, and everything about this, these verses uh, that are included here are um, 
are, are definite words. I, I will. Um, I will. Your mercy is great. Uh, your truth reaches the clouds. Be exalted. Uh, everything in this in those five verses that are lifted uh, again from the 57th Psalm are are definite uh, statements, positive statements. Uh, and you and I each morning uh, should uh, be like the the psalmist here. Um, as he says, I wake, I myself will awake early. Um, and, and it's funny, everybody defines early different. Uh, you know, if you ask some people, if they say, I got to get up early, uh, that means I have to get up at nine o'clock. Somebody else, that may mean five o'clock. Uh, but whatever early is to you, uh, we should commit ourselves uh, that every day we're going to awake. We're going to wake early uh, and give praise to the Lord, no matter the situation. You might be like David, find yourself in a cave. You might be like these Israelites uh, and find yourself uh, with a city in rubble, uh, or you might be um, something completely different. Uh, but whatever it is, I will, I will, I will, over and over, praise the Lord. I hope that's your testimony. I hope that's your claim today uh, is that you will commit to gay that I'm going to praise the Lord today no matter what. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen. Let me just throw this in for free. When you make that commitment and you say, I'm, I will praise the Lord today, um, Satan's going to hear that and he's going to say, really? Uh, let's see about that. And he's going to throw everything he can at you uh, to see if you really mean it. Uh, so be careful what you wish for, uh, be careful what you commit to. Uh, but I also think that God's going to hear it and he's going to hear that praise and he's going to be pleased, um, and give you the ability and the strength to ward off Satan and his attacks and continue, uh, to praise the Lord. So give him the praise today that he deserves. Have a great day. We will see you back here first thing tomorrow morning.